Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. We're going to look at percentages. We're going to work with percentages and solve some percent problems. Before we do that, just a brief overview. When we're talking about percentages, it's an amount out of 100. So if we're writing it as a fraction, it's going to be written as whatever percentage it is. I represent that with the letter X over 100. So it would normally be written as a fraction, 1 over 100 for 1 percent and so on. Now, changing percentages, and we're not going to talk about this too much today, but if you have a percentage like 34%, if you wanted to write that as a decimal, it would be 0 0.34. And as a fraction, it would be 34 over 100, as I just mentioned, which could be reduced down to 17 over 50. If you need any help converting fractions, um, from fractions, percentages, and decimals, and going back and forth between those, you can check out these two videos. There's a one on fractions, decimals, and percentages, or fractions, decimals, percents, part one, and fraction, decimals, percents, part two. So just go ahead and click on the, the note link that's underneath there. All right, so if we're pretty comfortable with changing fractions, now we're going to, or percentages, I'm sorry. Now we're going to look at the two methods for actually solving percent word problems. The first way that I'm going to show is to translate the question, and the second way is to set up a proportion. Both methods work, both methods are fine. Um, if find a method that you feel comfortable with and go ahead and use that method. I'm going to show you how to use both in this short video. So method number one is to translate the question. Here's a sample question. What is 32% of 534? When I get a question like this and I'm going to translate it, I'm going to identify each part of the sentence, what is 32% of 534, and I'm going to try and translate that into being a different operation or number. So what, that's our unknown, so I'm going to label that as our variable x is will be our equal sign, 32% I'm going to write as a decimal, 0 0.32, of means multiplication, and our number 534 remains the same. So all I need to do if I'm trying to find what's 32% of 534, all I really need to do is to multiply 0 0.32 times 534. I grab my calculator, punch that in, boom. So the percentage is 178 point, or 170.88 is 32% of 534, and that's how I'd solve it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, the challenge with this one is that there are three types of questions. So those three types of questions will look like this. What is 45% of 234? 14 is what percent of 231? And 15 is 13% of what number? These are the three types of questions. Again, I've changed the numbers for each one, but you'll notice that in this one, we're asking for what is 45% of 234, and for that one, it's just like the question we did before. What is 45% of 234? For this other question, this type here is the most challenging. 14 is what percent of 231? For that type of question, can you translate 14 is, and then this is the challenging part here, what percent? That would be a variable over 100, what percent of 231? And then for the third type of problem, 15 is 13 percent of what number? You'd have to set it up as 15 is equal to 13 percent, 0 0.13, times what number x? and then rearrange the formula to solve for the variable of x. So the advantage of this type of solving is that you'll be able to translate each sentence exactly word for word into what it is you're looking for. All right? And the challenge with, with this is that each time you're going to be solving in a different way. All right, so each time you're going to be solving for a variable in a different way. For this one, this is the easiest type. You just multiply them. For this one here, you're going to have to um, divide both sides by 231, then multiply each side times 100 to isolate our variable. For this one here, um, you would be dividing both sides by that percentage.
Okay, so each one of those is fine, and each one of them will work, but they're different for each one. Method number two is to use proportions. You'll set up a proportion, the part over the whole is equal to the percent over 100. And this is the proportion that you'll use for every single type of question. So let's look at a proportion or solving a question using proportions. We'll use the same question. What is 32% of 534? What I'm going to do for this is that I'm going to put the part over the whole is the percent over 100. I'm going to identify from this sentence that the part, the whole, and the percent are, x is our part, that's what we don't know. We don't know what. Our whole amount is 534, so that one's going to go underneath. And our percent is 32, so that will go in the numerator of the second fraction. Then we solve using cross-multiplying 534 times 32 over 100, and our final answer is over here, that is 170.88. We got that before. This is the same question we solved before. We're just using it in a different, looking at it in a different way. All right, you get exactly the same answer. Now, let's look at those, um, some notes about this. You'll always solve it in exactly the same way. You're going to use cross-multiplying the exactly the same way. The challenge for this one isn't solving it, but setting it up, getting it set up properly. So let's look at those same three questions that we had before, remembering that each one we're going to set up in exactly the same way. We're going to set it up as the part over the whole is equal to the percent over 100 for every single one. The challenge, like I said, is actually figuring out which part goes where. So here's how we would set up the first question. What is 45% of 234? The whole number goes in the bottom. The unknown value for this one would be x and would be in the top. That's the part. What part out of 234 is 45%, 45 over 100, or percent over 100? For our second question, 14 is what percent of 231? We have 14 and 231, our part and our whole. What we're missing in this one is our percent. So this type of question is actually much easier solved using proportions. We're just going to set up the proportion and solve. In our third question, 15 is 13% of what number? You're going to have x in the denominator because our unknown value is the whole. We know the part, we know the percent, we don't know the whole, so we can set it up like that. Again, so the challenges would be, or the advantage to the proportion type is that you're using cross-multiplying each time, no matter what. Challenge is setting it up properly. The advantage of method number one is that you'll be able to solve it directly each time. And um, the challenge, again, kind of um, manipulating the equations after they're set up. So there you go. That's how to solve word problems with percentages.